I've struggled with this my whole life. Just made me so insecure. It's life changing. Thank you, Dr. Leibowitz. Dr. Leibowitz, Long Island Gynecomastia Center, Long Island, New York. This is the third case of today. Uh, this gentleman just came in yesterday, actually, and he, he um, it's a quick little operation. He, he's got these nipples, and that's what bothers him. Not the glands. He's got a little gland in there, but that doesn't bother him. When he wears a t-shirt, and he's a thin guy, good shape, good muscle, these nipples. I mean, and let me give you the anatomy. Nipple is that. That's nipple. That's areola. The whole thing sometimes are called the nipple, but this is the nipple right there, and that's the areola, areola, nipple areola. So he likes his areola. He doesn't mind any kind of puffiness there, uh, because when he lifts up his arm, it's flat. But these nipples, when he wears a tight t-shirt, these nipples just kind of stick out on both sides and he just wants those out. So I'm going to, and he wants them as flat as can be. I guarantee my work. If he comes to me in six weeks, six months, two years, two years, five years, 10 years, and say, doc, they're still a little bit big. I, I, it's one fee forever and I can make them uh, smaller. So I'm gonna do my little top hat, I call it, uh, thing. I'm not just gonna chop them off. You chop them off, it kind of looks weird. I'm gonna do a little top hat and I fold it over. He's got a little nubbing and it's gonna be perfect. And again, if he if he's, thinks it's too much, we we do it again and, and just make sure it's perfect. But I don't want to just flatten them and have no nipples at all because that's kind of weird. Uh, and uh, But it's going to be a perfect result. Um, so I'm going to numb them and off to the OR we go. Very little bit. Palm, you are. I'm gonna do this male nipple reduction. So here's the base of the nipple. So again, this is the areola and this is the nipple. So this is the base of the nipple, right kind of right there. And he wants it, you know, as flat as can be, but he just can't chop it off. That's kind of not the way to do it. So I do what's called the top hat. It's kind of a, looks like a Mexican hat type of a thing. And I do the scar on the bottom so nobody can see it. There you go. Looks like a Mexican hat. I don't know if it does. I love it. Or not. Which one's a Mexican hat? What does it look like? Sombrero. A sombrero. Is that a Mexican hat? Mm-hmm. So right like this. There's a little Mexican hat. <laughs> bueno. So I'm gonna just put this down and down so nobody will see a little scar at all. It looks great. Yeah. Good. Still has a little nubbing there. And the, the scar will be just right there so nobody he won't when he looks down see what i mean he won't see anything so what i did is reduce it but also he had a little puffiness there right in that center so i actually dug in there and grabbed some of that gland out from the middle
So, a little bit right there, that's the Mexican hat, and that's a little gland that goes underneath it. That was that. I'm just gonna get a little bit more out of there as I do. So that goes right there, and I'm gonna close that up beautifully, trim it a little bit more. So, uh, Dr. Leibowitz, Long Island guy in a Kamasi Center. So, this young man fit and everything. He just didn't like the protruding uh, nipples in his t-shirt. So, he did a nipple reduction. He wanted them flat. But I did my fancy um, top head technique. And so, the scar is underneath there. He won't even see it. Nobody will see it. Self-absorbing stitches. And while, while I was in there, he did have some gland. And through that little incision, I just plucked out a little bit of the gyno gland through there. And... Uh, uh, at no extra charge because I love him and uh, we did great work. He's from out east a little bit, wherever on Long Island and he doesn't want to come back because he doesn't want to travel. So I'll Skype or FaceTime with him tomorrow and he'll do the dressing change. Probably I'll leave this alone for two days. We'll probably do it on Thursday, just leave it alone. Uh, it's safer. And I'll put a little dressing on there and uh, he'll have perfect guaranteed results. So if you have gynecomastia, if you have puffy nipples, if you have big nipples that kind of stick out um, and you want them corrected, uh, call me. What else can they call me for? Um, I don't know. A hug. A hug. You want a hug? You call me. <laughs> Dr. Leibowitz, Long Island Gynecomastia Center in Long Island, New York. 631-424-0101, 631-424-0101. Thank you and see you soon.